Are you having some wrist issues? Don't worry, in this video I'm gonna give you some exercise that can help you strengthen your wrist. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're an arm wrestler or just someone having pain or difficulties or uncomfort in your wrist and you just need you know, it to be stronger. We're gonna do two movements, but I'm gonna give you a bunch of exercise that you pretty much can do uh, at your home, in the gym. You don't have to do all these exercises. You can just stick to one that you can do. Ulnar deviation or wrist going like this, pretty much going down, uh, or an arm wrestling we call it the chop. Radial deviation, wrist going up, or we call it rising or knuckles high. Many different things can happen, but if you're an arm wrestler, uh, as you put more stress on your wrist, more tension can go through these muscles, and if you neglect them, you will have some problems in them. So uh, yeah, let's get to some exercises. We're gonna start by radial deviation or riser training. So you need a dumbbell. Small dumbbells, pretty good. All exercises I recommend doing high reps just because it's a small muscle and you pretty much work it all the time, but it really doesn't give a lot of load. So taking anything bigger, you might actually have a chance in damaging it. So work your way slowly up and uh, I don't know, this is two kilos, maybe five. I, I haven't seen, you know, anything you, you do more, you pretty much start cheating and the muscle is not working correctly. So let's get to this exercise. So all you need is a dumbbell. Um, I'm right here on the table. So I'm gonna keep my knuckle high. I'm not gonna let it slide down. And all I'm gonna do is go through extension and flexion, extension and flexion. So if you do this really slowly, and let's say 20 reps, it will get so burnt out, you're gonna feel it like crazy. Extensors are engaged on this side, flexors are engaged on this side, and you have a lot of movement, a lot of range of movement as well. So your muscle is getting stronger in different positions, which is really crucial, because usually you will get injured where you've never been before. So you strengthen one part, but you neglect the other, that's where you get, most likely you get injuries. My recommendation, slow control, three sets of 20 reps for this exercise, you will feel the burn. If it's really easy, after three sets you don't feel the burn, uh, you can take a little bit heavier weight. We're back on table, we're gonna do some isolation movements. Either you have like a belt, any kind of belt, any kind of rope will work. You put it like this and put it over your front knuckle right here. So now we're gonna go for full range. So slowly going down, coming up, do a pause and squeeze. Do a pause and squeeze. This is four kilos. I already feel it when I'm doing full range because it's very hard and I can feel my muscles are strong here, but they are not so strong here. So again, here, three sets, 20 reps will be enough. My recommendation is if you feel like this is strong, try to change the angle. So bend your wrist a little bit more and go down here. You feel like, okay, here I actually feel way weaker than I was on straight wrist. So this is the position where I really need to work. So you can do each set on different position as well. So being here like this, so first set here, second here, third set here. Uh, most likely you wanna work where you're the weakest. Still the same exercise, but we're gonna use our resistance band. So resistance bands are great because uh, they move around, they never stop. So I'm taking resistance band, I can go down, come up, hold it. As you see, the weight is bouncing up and down, so it creates more tension. It's way harder. You go up, bounces, go down, bounces. Still the same thing. You can do static, like static movement, and just allow the weight to bounce. You can walk around, doesn't matter, put it in different positions, let it go down a little bit, pull it back up. So you can, you can try different variation. The easiest, easiest thing and solution you can find is wherever you feel is the heaviest, that's where you need most work in. So resistance band, same thing as with the belt, three sets of 20, either 20 bounces or 20 movements up and down. Uh, you're gonna feel it, you're gonna feel it. We're now in arm wrestling territory. We're gonna uh, combine back pressure with our riser. 
So in down position, I'm letting my wrist to be, you see, completely going down. As I'm moving up, I'm moving my wrist up as well. Letting it go down, full extension, going up, no problem. You can do it from 90 degrees as well, just working here, but really focusing on wrist movement, on your knuckles going up. Or you can be in a full range. Uh, same exercise in a cable system will work even better, because right here, in the down position, there's no tension. There's zero tension. In the cable system, you're still gonna feel tension because cable is pulling you down. Here, there's no tension, and I'm coming into tension, and I feel it right here. Still high, 10 to 15 reps, maybe three to four sets, because you're working your back pressure together with your riser. Most like your back pressure, your elbow flexors will keep on working when the riser is like telling you that's enough. There are way more exercises for radial deviation that you can do. Static positions, dynamic, doesn't matter. So this will be the last one that I show you. So here I'm allowing my wrist to drop and I'm gonna lift it up like this. It gets very heavy and very taking on your flexors because your flexors are super engaged in this. And like I said, uh, in armistice, like in almost everything we do, it's not just one moment, it's combination. So working these two things together is really beneficial. And from radial deviation, right here, we go straight to ulnar deviation. So this is the second part. This is the movement. I'm allowing my wrist to go up. I'm gonna keep it like right here, because when I'm here, I can over move it. So basically, if I move it too far, it gets in position where there's not enough tension. So keeping in front of you, is actually really, really good. Right here, wrist goes up, press it down. So now I'm kind of isolating the movement. So ulnar deviation or chopping down is working alone. I hope you can see it from this angle. As you move up, you cup in, boom. As you move up, you cup in like this. So if you're an armister, you know exactly what this is. Uh, all you need is a handle of a dumbbell or any kind of bar that has a little weight on it or you need something like this and you can add a plate or any kind of weight to one side and you will have really good workout. You can, again, 20 reps, 3 sets would be the way to go. So really great variation in a cable system that you can do is to get it with your triceps. So I'm taking it like this. So it's trying to rotate my arm up and I'm gonna press it down. So I'm gonna extend my arm as I'm doing my tricep press down and I'm gonna try to rotate in as much as possible. Most likely your wrist is gonna be engaged when you're doing any kind of movement down. So this is a great way to combine it and pretty much Kill two birds at the same time. And last exercise I'm gonna give you on chopping down or ulnar deviation is like this. So either you're gonna do it in a cable system or with a resistance band or an armistice table, however you want, but pretty much isolation movement. So nothing else moves except the wrist. Like this. So I'm standing like this and the most tension will be when I'm in this position, when I'm in a bottom position. So here, not so much, but here it's very hard. So you can change the position by moving your arm like this. So now the most tension will be at starting position and it gets a little bit easier. I recommend switching between those two. So do first stand like this, then move it like this and do rest of the 10 reps like this. Getting injured in your wrist is very easy. Uh, Again, if you're an armistice, that's kind of kind of uh, important thing to avoid. And if you're just an average person or, you know, you're just an athlete or use your wrist for something. And we mostly, we use it for a lot of different things. So you need to take care of it. 
uh, I recommend training both sides, at least one of these exercises I showed you, uh, or you can figure out something for yourself because it's, it's not that hard to find great exercises. My best recommendation is really check where you are the weakest. A lot of guys will start doing some movement. They get really strong in one position. As soon as the position changes, they're 80% weaker. So uh, make sure you're not one of those guys. If you want to get monthly armistice coaching by Voice of Armistice, link is in the description. Hope video helped you. Stay strong. Love armistice.